What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all having a great day. And today, I have something really cool planned. Before we get into that, I want to start by saying thank you guys for all the love and support you guys have been giving me. It has been a tremendous amount. And with all of that, today I'm going to be building my first fish breeding pond right behind me in this same exact spot, right back over here. This, this is the liner we're going to be using for it. This right here are the plants that we're going to be using to start off the pond for the bottom. So we'll probably get about six or seven. It's gonna be super cool, so stay tuned. I'm gonna go get the base for the pond right now. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. So what this is right here, it's actually a raised bed for plants. And you can put dirt inside of it and then mulch on top with the plants in there. I'm sure a lot of you guys actually have these inside of your yards. You just probably don't notice it enough. We have it too high and these are probably six inches tall. So it's a foot tall, probably three or four feet wide and these little stakes right here. So what these are gonna do, it's gonna go inside of the little holes right there. It's gonna keep the pond stable and sturdy so they don't fall over when there's water inside of the pond because the pressure is gonna be pushing on the outside of the pieces of wood. Now we're gonna go bring this back up to the front, set it all up, and then eventually we're gonna get the fish for it. All right, so we made it back up to the little slab out front where we're gonna be having the mini pond. I'm pretty sure I explained everything decently well out back. We're just gonna have to set the whole entire base up put the liner in, put the plants in, and then also get the filter, the pump, and everything, the UV, just to make sure that the fish stay good and there's no green algae or string algae inside of the pond. There's also gonna be a few different things I'm gonna be using for this pond, but you know, there's no paid promotion included, so I just can't say exactly what it is, and it's not too helpful, but I already have it laying around inside of my house. So here we go, you guys can see, it's a decent sized pond, I can fit inside of it. The mini fish that we're going to be putting in here, I'm going to let you guys decide which ones we want to put in here, either mollies, guppies, or a few different little sorts of things in here, but I'm going to let you guys decide that, which ones go inside of this mini pond right here. Here is a better view of the pond above. I'm going to be putting something in the bottom, just so the liner doesn't get cut. There's not going to be too much pressure in here, since it's probably only going to be a 100 gallon pond for these baby little breeding fish. All right, so this is pretty much it. You wanna have it very comfortable so you can come out here and sleep in it whenever you want to because remember, this is not a fish pond. It is your bed. You guys know I'm obviously just joking. This will keep it a lot easier and a lot better for your fish. Now I'm gonna be putting the liner in it there is a few little spots that I'm going to have to patch up. All right, so here we go. We have all of the materials inside of the pond to keep it warm and also to keep the liner safe. And um, it's also dark outside. We got lights set up right now so I could film this throughout the whole entire night. And right here is the sump. I'm almost 100% going to be using, probably going to be cutting a hole in each side and letting it flow over back into the pond because it is pretty short so I could probably just have it in the back over here. So now the line is ready to go inside of the pond. These are going to be getting put to the side over here. Right there I'm just going to put them inside of there and get the liner out. I've got to figure out which way I'm going to put this because there's a lot of extra liner here. A lot. I literally just recorded that whole segment not thinking if you guys are going to be able to see my face. And I don't think you guys could see my face in the whole entire thing. Here we go, we got the liner inside of the pond laid out exactly how we want it. I mean, there is going to be wrinkles since it is a perfectly square pond. We're going to be putting small pavers almost around the whole entire thing. It's going to cover up a lot of the imperfections on it, and it's also going to have some plants inside of here to cover up the corners that have the most wrinkles. And these are what I'm talking about. These plants are going to be in the corners, covering up the wrinkles. They're going to be growing inside of the pond, it's going to be super cool when the fish are breeding in here too and having the little babies swim around. It is now time for some scissors. And boom, just like that we have the liner fit for the pond. And now all we need is some duct tape to hold the liner onto the pond so it doesn't move anywhere because there is going to be little pavers around the outside. So you're not going to be able to see this wood most likely over here. I don't want to be 100% about that but most likely that is what's gonna be happening. So it's getting a little bit cold out here. I had to go to the store, get some duct tape, because we didn't have any at my house, because you know, 
this stuff is always very useful. So what I'm gonna be doing right now is duct taping the liner right here. I'm gonna be duct taping the liner down and holding it there. Once we put the little pavers around it, you cannot see the liner at all from the outside. You can only see it from the inside. And then after that, we're gonna get the rocks, put them in here, put the plants in here, and then probably set up the filter. I don't know 100% if we're gonna be able to finish that tonight because I think I have to get some more parts for the pump. All right, guys, we have it totally. Oh, I missed a spot over here. You guys don't even see that right now, though. We do have the whole entire thing duct taped down. It looks so much better with the duct tape on it. Let me give you guys a better view right now. So now you can see the whole entire pond and the exact way the liner is going to be setting up. I missed the corner over here. Oops. My bad, guys. But the whole entire thing is super cool. It came out super nice. And um, now I guess it's time for the rock or the pavers to go around the whole entire pond. All right, so I'm not gonna use the pavers just because it's a little bit too heavy. It's late at night. You guys can see the, it's kind of cold out here. We're just gonna stick to this. I'm gonna cut it a little bit short and um, wrap it around the three front sides that you're gonna be able to see if you're looking at the pond. And then I'm gonna leave the back open just for the filter and other purposes like that. Let's get to cutting and then wrapping the pond with this stuff. The F word. All right, everybody, welcome back to Landscaping 101. The first thing you gotta do whenever you have a pond is put plants on it, and that's it. You don't need anything else. <laughs> I'm just kidding once again. All right, but in all seriousness, we did get a little bit of this cut out. It's not gonna make it fully around the pond. It's only gonna make it a decent amount of the way around the pond. Just the front and a little bit on the sides. But here we go. This is it. This is how it's gonna be sitting. We're gonna have it sitting a little bit higher just so once we get the screening on it, it won't be touching the water at all. Once we finally get the little netting to go over the top of it, you never completely know what's gonna happen until it actually happens. I've had people get stuff inside of the pond, it kills all of their fish, and they come to me wanting me to help them, and there's nothing to do because their pond is already contaminated so much, they're gonna have to take all of the water out and take everything out of the pond already. So just to make it a little bit more safe, this pond is gonna be the breeding pond. That is exactly why I wanna keep it the safest. We got another pond back there, a pond back here. You guys are actually sitting inside of a pond with my camera. The, the camera is actually water, it's inside of the pond. Here we go. I finished putting the fence around the whole entire pond and I also put a little bit of vines around the corner where the fence is and where the pond meets. So this is what it looks like. Here it is, we got the fence around the whole entire pond. It looks pretty cool, but I don't think I'm gonna keep it here forever. I think I might possibly change it up maybe to a little bit of a wooden fence to give it a more natural look because it doesn't look natural as it is. So the last few things that we have to do is put pebbles inside of the pond and then also put water inside of it. All right, so pretty much we got the rocks all ready. Um, now we all have to do is just clean them off, which I'm gonna be using this hose right here because it is already 9, 935. Yeah, that's cute, right? So I'm just gonna clean this off right now. I will get to you all once I have them fully cleaned and ready to put inside of the pond. All right, here we go, everybody. We got all of them cleaned up, ready to go right inside of the pond right back there. Woo, finally. Back to the pond over here. We got all of the gravel inside of the pond. I know there's a few missing spots, but that is because I didn't grab enough gravel, which I promise you, we will get those spots fixed. But now what we have to do is get the water inside of the pond. So before I leave you guys off, yes, I am still in high school. Yes, I still have to take my exams for high school. Yes, I do YouTube and high school. Yes, I do go to school. This right behind me is my little pond that I just finished building. It's not 100% complete. The filter in the back, the little sump is still over there. 
There's a whole bunch of stuff that has to be done, but you guys will be seeing all of that in my next video. So today, all we got done was the base of the pond. We put the liner in. We got the outside, like the little, like the little thing right here. I don't, I really think a fence or something. I, I don't know. You guys can name it down below. I have no clue what it's called. You guys do have to name what we are going to be putting in here, like guppies, mollies. I really want to put guppies, but I'm not sure. It's basically up to you guys. And we do have the plants that are inside of the pond. I'm going to have to plant them also tomorrow. So, yes, I do have a lot of things on my mind with this pond. We have to get something to go over the top of it. It's just um, subscribe, like, comment. Yeah, all that down below.